Howdy everybody, my name is Forrest Anderson, also known as Your Yacht Guy. Today we have a very, very special treat for you. We are on board this beautiful Pardo 52 GT from Cantiere del Pardo. This Italian built luxury yacht is a little bit of every aspect you could ever want while you're out on the water. You have the day boat capabilities and entertaining out here in this exterior salon uh, cockpit or walk right through and be enclosed in your own oasis. Before we even get started on this beautiful 52 GT, I wanna point out the massive uh, swim platform you have back here. This is big enough and strong enough to hold just about any dinghy of your choice or drop it into the water and let the kids swim just inches into the water and create your own private beach right here on the back of your 52 GT Pardo. Follow me and we'll check out more. All right, you guys, now that we have made it here into the cockpit or the main exterior entertaining space on this 52 GT, I can really show you some of the amenities that Cantiere del Pardo has done such a fantastic job of giving you here in this cockpit. First of all, this uh, electric table, this will drop down when my knees aren't in the way and uh, go flush so you can put two filler cushions on there. That is so when your backrests are laid out flat, you can have this as one large sun pad. Obviously, these backrests will stay at any position you'd like after a click so you can lean back a little bit after a nice large uh, family style meal, or like I said, drop them all down to become a sun pad. Here in the stern, you have the same style backrest. These will go up to just about any position and then lay down flat to become a sun pad. Storage is very important on all boats. The benefit of having them in convenient places is just something that good boat manufacturers, good boat builders do. Cantiere del Pardo is no exception to that. They do a fantastic job of putting storage where it is most needed. This one is located on the port side of the boat. However, you have the same storage on the uh, starboard as well. And again, both very conveniently located right in the cockpit. Up here, you will notice you have a very nice uh, stainless electric panel here. And this is for your electric sunshade, which again goes out and covers this sun pad when you want to get out of the sun for a nice hot day. That is also where you control your electric table, as well as your underwater lights, cockpit lights, overhead, and courtesy. Also under here, you'll have some storage as well. Great for fenders and dock lines. Also, a little hidden secret, on both sides, port and starboard, you have a drink cooler. This is fantastic for drinks, beers, uh, sparkling waters, all fantastic to go in here. Or if you wanted to, you could use one as a fridge or one as a freezer. Turn it down a few notches and you can store your hot dogs, hamburgers, whatever you're looking to store in there as a freezer. Not leaving the cockpit, we have an ice maker right here, conveniently located once again. This will produce ice there, all in your entertaining area. Grab that, make yourself a drink, and start enjoying your oasis. One thing you'll notice here is we are very steady out on the Long Island Sound, although there's boat traffic and a lot of people enjoying this beautiful day. Um, we have the quick gyro stabilizer on, which is down in this engine room. That is doing a fantastic job of keeping us from rocking side to side. Very important. Before heading inside this very inviting and accommodating salon, I want to point out two things. One is your engine room access. This houses your twin Volvo IPS D8s, as well as a quick gyro stabilizer and your Kohler generator. Down there you do also have twin fuel tanks. This has a total capacity of 528 gallons and we'll get into some of the performance specs in just a minute. The other thing I wanted to point out is this uh, window here. Open this window up and not only do you get some of that natural airflow, but it allows just for a much more open and inviting feel that I was mentioning earlier. As we step on in, Again, the heritage of Cantere del Pardo from building boats for the last 50 years. It's not just about building a boat as pretty and elegant as this, but it's also about 
being able to use it and justifying that name of Grand Touring. The use of space and the elegance factor goes into simple things like turning on your TV or just popping it up. Just a simple push of a button and this electronically raises and also hides away when you want to see just the natural views. Or hook up your sat TV, catch the game there, and entertain the kids when it's time to be done with a nice long day. But I do want to note that this is a great dining area, uh, spot to have some breakfast or just hang out and uh, do some work. Above me is a huge sunroof. I'll just pop this open for you just so you guys get a little bit of an idea. This thing will slide all the way back and talk about bringing in some natural air. When you bring this thing back, leave these two side windows open, wow, this really opens up and really feels like a day boat at that point. Very nice. Also nice to use the shade and kind of get out of the sun for a little bit if that's what you're after. Down the steps, we did the galley down layout on this boat. There is two layouts. Um, one would be a galley down, obviously, or a galley up, and that would go right there on the starboard side of the boat and create more of an L-shaped galley. This then becomes a fixed helm seat. Your TV and kind of salon goes down there and that nook, and it becomes much more of a private nook, if you will. Let's head downstairs and check out the amenities. Now that we take a few steps down these uh, molded steps here, very safe and secure with this handrail. You're in this open and inviting galley here. Although galley down has always had this stigma behind it that you're out of the conversation, you're kind of down in the hole. Pardo did a very good job of not putting a ceiling here and opening this up to the salon. Not only are you a part of the conversation, but it's super easy to grab something out of the fridge here and hand it off to somebody up in the salon. Also, with that fridge, you have a nice freezer chill box here, as well as a microwave and electric cooktop, as well as a sink. This staircase actually opens up as well. You can put a safe down there. Double lock and key if you did that safe. So therefore, very safe, very secure, hydro valuables down there. Let's step into the owner's suite, which is forward. And it is a full beam owner's suite here. As you come on in, you'll notice this very nice island berth. Pardo did a very good job of making this room feel as large as it possibly can, including a TV that's on an oscillating arm that will come out and give you a nice view from your bed, or it'll clip back into position. This owner suite has a private ensuite head here all the way at the bow of the 52 GT. One thing you'll notice is this is a very large uh, head for the owner suite. You do have a rainfall shower head there, um, a skylight here as well. Kind of open that up and use it as your porthole. Also has a very large vanity, nice mirror, storage, and a porcelain head. Just after the owner suite, you'll find the additional stateroom or the VIP stateroom. This is a twin berth layout here and these two bunks are side by side so you can bring along the kids or an additional couple if you wanted to go away for a weekend. You have a hanging locker here as well as access to the day head straight from the VIP stateroom. Also access from that galley as you saw before. This is a very nice well-appointed head that is not a just wet head. This is a stall shower with a very nice rainfall shower head. Sink, storage, vanity, as well as some more storage and a porcelain head. Skylight, once again, to allow for natural airflow if you wanted to. Back up here in the salon, I wanted to save a few things for last, if you will, a few special things. First of all, as I mentioned, this is a two stateroom, two head, plus a crew quarter. So all of the kudos to Pardo for fitting in an additional stateroom here. Just under your sofa, you'll notice a pop-up hatch. Down there is very well appointed. As I said, you have a uh, single berth, toilet, sink, and hanging locker down there. All you could ever need. Follow me to the bow, and I'll show you the very large bow pad that you get on this 52 GT. As we go, though, I want you to notice safety and security. Very important to most people, very important to most boaters. Gunnels on these Pardos, all the way down to the 38 
on up to the newly announced 75. Pardo and Cantiere del Pardo does a fantastic job of giving you the safety and security. These gunnels are very high. I am not a short guy by any means, and you can see these go well above my knees. That means for you, your kids and pets, very safe, very secure, not falling out on accident or on purpose. Here on this very large sun pad, it is a beautiful day to lay out. I'm not gonna lay out just yet. Gotta pay extra for that, just kidding. But this is an excellent spot to entertain. Two carbon fiber poles drop in there. Um, and you get a Mediterranean style sunshade up here. Very nice for entertaining. I'm not one much to bust a move, but up here makes me wanna dance. You do also, speaking of dancing, have speakers up under your hard top, hidden, conveniently located to bring the music up here and really entertain on the bow. Now let's go turn the keys and take this thing for a ride. All right, everybody. Thank you very much for your patience. It is finally that time. It is the time you have all been waiting for. I am going to turn the keys or push the button in this case and take this beautiful Pardo 52 GT for a ride. As we sit down, you'll notice this is a Volvo IPS D8 boat. I did mention that before and these are the 800s. You can do the optional 700s or 800s. We opted for the little bit larger power, gives you a little bit higher cruise and better burn rate. After the Volvo binnacle, you'll notice the Volvo joystick. Please note there is no bow thruster here. It is an option, but it is not necessarily a needed option. With this joystick and the maneuverability with the pods, you really can put this boat just about any place that you could ever imagine. Twin flush mounted Garmin displays there. Very nice, you'll notice no lip. Also, you have your quick chain counter as well as the quick gyro stabilizer. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Time to push the big red button, if you will. Start up the port engine first, now the starboard, and just like that, we are now in gear. Just grab your binnacles and slowly work them forward until you get to that 20 to 22 knot cruise. So there we are, right about 22 knots a little bit more, 23 in climbing, very nice. All right guys, thank you very much for tuning in. This has been a Staten Island Yacht Tales Your Yacht Guy exclusive, brought to you by Forrest Anderson on a 52 Pardo GT. Thank you very much, signing off.